Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. And now, let's go into level 1-9. We're getting close to the end of World 1. But we've still got a special level to do after this one, so... Uh, let's pick our new plants, I guess. I do want to use a, a repeater at some point, so let's grab that. Uh, and I guess... Chomper. This will be an interesting setup. Let's see how we go. Let's place the sunflower quickly. Okay. It always starts very slow when you just start a level. Because you have to get the first bit of sun so you can keep planting. And, and, and it doesn't send any zombies straight away, so that's... That's good. For us. Okay. I've almost got enough sunflowers to get started. Although I'm tempted to also have a second row, since we're gonna need more sun for the repeaters. Okay, there's also a second thing there. That's interesting. That's an interesting row to pick. Uh, I guess I'll put that there then, since that's the, really the only place I can put that. Okay. We're getting close to enough for a repeater to start off, but I, th I don't know if I want to wait for the the second the next zombie to appear so I can know where to put the thing. Let me just put it in, and hopefully not be wrong. <laughs> you know that'll be sad. Nope, it's up there. <laughs> okay, I'll just get enough sun very quickly. Quick, 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 quick! Give me more sun. Give me more sun. Give me more sun. There we go. I put in the. What's it called there, just to make sure we were safe. The potato mine. But these, these are so helpful having these repeaters. Because they just shoot twice and it's so good. It's just difficult to get enough sun for them. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I need another thing for that. Uh, Trumpers are good for those, though, because they can actually grab them if they jump over anything. Because if you have, like, a, a walnut first and then the Trumper, they'll jump over the walnut, but they'll still get got by the Trumper. Also, it's just nice having these repeaters to take out the stronger, um, zombies. Uh, if you have two repeaters, though, you can probably take out a bucket zombie. I'm gonna need a bit more sun for that. Okay, there goes that potato mine. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna jump over that. Okay, then. Oh, well, it looks like we have things under control so far. But the, the first wave is about to appear in about 30 seconds. Or 10, maybe. It's approaching fast, is the thing. Okay. This is going really well now. Because we've only had like three, maybe four, pea shooters out at a time in each row before. But we almost have, have that with just two plants per row. Gonna put that there. See how that goes. Because I'm gonna try and move thing in there instead. Let's do it. Okay, now I think I'm going to work on a row of chompers and walnuts. Or a column of chompers and walnuts. I just need more sun first. Oh, hello. I should be able to take you out though because I have four shots being shot at you every few seconds. Come on, show me that left eye. There it is. That means that it's about to lose its helmet in a second. There we go. Oh, hello. There's two of those. Ah, uh, do that. That'll work. It should work. Also, I think they might just die before they get anywhere. Yeah. So there's that as well. 
We should be good. Getting these chompers out now. The walnuts take so long to recharge. Just so long. So much time has passed since the last walnut. Do not know if we will make it. Guess I'll put that there, why not? That didn't do much, but anyway, it's fine. This one's gonna not make it, probably. Uh, there's that there. I might put a second chomper there, actually. Just because. And the next, the final wave is on its way. After we get through this one zombie here. Which might take a second because it's got the stuff on it. The bucket. But the chomp is there to take things out, so. Final wave. Just gonna go with whatever works. I'm not going to care about being symmetrical this time, sadly. It's nice to have it symmetrical, but sometimes you don't need it. Whoa, what's this? That zombie just waved at me. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. You've got a Z there. I don't know if you notice. It's my house. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have the zombies, uh... About to launch an all-out attack. So, uh, let's, uh, take a look at this. Uh, this should be fine. Let's, uh, I guess go bowling again? No. What's happening here is it's gonna have the plants roll in across the screen, and we just need to put them in. So I need to be smart about this, which I haven't been so far since I put that double... Since I put the repeater there, and not there, but it's fine, we've got a chomper, so... I like this idea, and also this song is amazing. I love this song. So good. It's such a good song, <laughs> you know? Anyway, let's try and even this out across each row. Gotta be smart about this. <laughs> Gotta be smart about this, it's fine. It's all fine. Give me another repeater or something. Well, I got another repeater, but I'm also gonna let that do its thing for the moment. Or maybe not, why not? Just put that there, I guess. Oh, we might even be able to get some... Uh, snow peas, possibly. Well, this is looking pretty good so far. We have three on this row, that row, that row. Oh, my goodness. Snow peas, let's go. We are set now. Also, why did I do that? That's such a protected row. This row, however, is not. Let's do something about that. We do have some... Cherry bombs if we need them. But I'm going to try and wait for a wave first. Okay, this is looking good. Good stuff. Let's get that repeater there. This row needs to be fixed up a little bit, but we're looking pretty good otherwise. I like the look of this. There we go. Row of repeaters, row of snow peas, row of everything, basically. I have to compliment the music, music again, it's really good. I don't know where to put these snow the pea shooters anymore. Okay, there's a thing there, that's unfortunate to have two of those there. Should be fine though. Get a chomper closer up. Might have to rearrange a few things. I'm trying to have two rows of repeaters over here. Um, we could also upgrade... ...something. Like that. Not quite how you're supposed to do it, but that's fine. We have four... ...cherry bombs right now. Let's use them. Okay, where are you zombies? They're on their way. Let's go there, and there. Good stuff. 
Here comes a runner. That's not good. There's so many zombies right now. I might as well cherry bomb a little bit more. Not too much though. I think I did too much. It's fine. No, another repeat would be nice. Potato mine. I'll put you there for the moment. Okay, repeater. Ah, game come back. Also, the pause screen is amazing, by the way. Look, this is the pause screen. This is just like this guy reading a newspaper. Anyway, resume. Um, gonna get rid of you for the moment. Another chomper. Might put you there. Stuff is looking really good now. Uh, I guess I'll put you there. Just go with anything at this point. I will really just go with anything at this point. Wow. I should actually be replacing these walnuts with the... The ice. The snow piece. Uh, repeater. Let's put that there. This is looking very good. Let's do that. Okay, and let's do that. Very nice. Uh, what do I want to replace now? Probably nothing, actually. I want the... I want the chompers over here, I think. Have some extra walnut if I need it. I guess I can put the pea shooters in until I can upgrade them. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> you know, I think we're safe. Let me get rid of those two at once. Like that, and now we're up to the wave. The final wave. I could use the tree bombs, actually. That's fine. Uh, let me do that. I guess that, maybe. Well, I'm going to blow you up then. I might as well blow up everything else. So there we go. And that's the end of World 1. And now we get something a little bit different. Because of that. We got a puff shroom. Shoots short range spores at the enemy. Because now, for World 2, it's the evening. Evening, Blue Toad! Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And luckily for, and lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of these as you can, and you'll be a a o good. Okay. So now, we have to be a little bit different with our selection. Because we have to use this puff shroom as our basic, our basic attack, for one. Uh, probably just starting off though, we can still get some, but not as much. So we're gonna have to take longer for that. Uh, I don't even know what route to go with this. Um, go chomper, I guess. Let's see how this goes. There are also tombstones. Those are important to- it, those are important to note because when they are there, they'll block attacks from our side. Uh, but they will also spawn in zombies at specific times during the- the level. Also, these puff- puff shrooms aren't very strong, so... It's probably good to have two in, at, 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 in each- <laughs> each thing. Oh, I really need more sun, sunflower. You're my only hope for sun right now. There we go. We can still get sun for our main plants, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, good. And we don't even need to pr plant any potato mines to keep things under control, which is good. Also, I, apparently I'm wrong about those blocking attacks. I might be blocking some attacks, but not these attacks. I don't know. It's been a while since I last played this. So... Let's plant all these in. We're almost ready to start planting some actually good stuff. Also, here's a new zombie. We have to break his paper before we hurt him. But also, once we do break his paper, he'll start running, so... 
need to be quick from that point on. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. He took a bite out of that mushroom though, so it's gonna have less health now. Let me put a pea shooter over there so we can take care of that guy. I'm gonna keep planting these shrooms. Okay. Come on, sun. I need more sun. So much more sun would be so good. Once we get a little bit further into the night time, we'll have plenty of sun, so... But right now it's just challenging us to get some money, some, so we can purchase some cool stuff. Can't do that quite yet, since we're still defending ourselves, but that's something that's going to be very important, probably. As long as I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's fine, I know exactly what I'm talking about. i played this game a few times. just been a few years, but it's fine. Uh, I need a pea shooter right now. Please. There we go. Okay, that's better. Still need one more pea shooter. Also, there's our money there. There's the wave. Okay, so these gravestones are going to have zombies pop out of them. Each one. Here we go. Let's see if we can take them out. We should be good though. Since this is the final wave and we have all of our lawnmowers, we're basically... We're basically guaranteed the win. But also we still probably want to defend so we can get more money. Although I don't know if that's even a thing. Is that still a thing? Is that a thing? I don't know. I just have no idea what I'm talking about. But there we go. Also, for each lawnmower st left standing, we get money now, so... Sunshroom! Give small sun at first, and normal sun later. This is the way of the future. This is the way of sun. And we shall have sun again. These mushrooms will glow forever. Hey, you've collected $290 in coins so far. When you collect $750, I'll sell you something really neat, oh. Well, we'll probably get to that in this level, so... Uh, but let's select that now. Well, that's basically gonna replace, uh, sunflowers, so... Uh, but I probably wanna sell, like, some other things to go along with this. So, let's see how we go. I don't think we're gonna get much sun from this. To build up a huge d defense, but it's still gonna be good to have. Gonna put that there. So, yes, these, these sun shrooms start small and then get bigger. We probably wanna have two rows of them. Or two columns. I'm gonna get that wrong all the time. They don't produce much sun starting out, but it's gonna be... It's gonna be really good later on, so... Where's the zombie? There it is. Let's try and build up some defense on that. There we go. Good stuff. Gonna start working on the other rows now. Further down. Oh, same, same row again. That's helpful to me, because that means I don't have to spend as much on it. Or anywhere else, that is, specifically. Don't have to worry about other lanes. Okay. The sunshrooms are now producing enough sun to consistently keep planting them now, which is good. And once we get a little bit more, we'll actually be able to do some other stuff. Especially once they start growing. Okay, that should be good defense for the moment. Until we get some tough stuff coming, which shouldn't take too long till that happens. Just resting on the gravestone. Yeah, I believe it. Anyway, let's start planting some actual plants now. We don't need to worry about any more... Sun shrooms. Also, we need to get another thing here because there's a that's a cone zombie, and I don't know if I can take it out very well at the moment. So I'm gonna try and do that. That should be good. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if we can do something about that. Need more sun. There we go. The first sun shroom is now grown up, and now we get more sun from it, which is gonna be really good. 
Second one. Oh, so much sun. So much sun, it's crazy. I think we're good now, probably. We just need to plant some more of the pea shooters. Very nice. Very nice. Wave of zombies is approaching. This is only the first wave. Wow. But also there's the, the tombstones, which are going to have... Or the other graves, they're going to have extra zombies, I think. Or maybe not. I thought they did. Never mind. I'm just remembering things wrong. I thought I knew what I was talking about, but apparently not. Was well, so they're going to eat the small shrooms. We're always trying to set up our pea shooters. So we need to keep on top of planting the puff shrooms still, probably. We almost have all of our sun shrooms grown up. Which is good because we're going to have so much sun now. There we go. Now to go absolutely crazy planting things. Oh, there's a thing there. That's not good. Let me put in a thing there in a second. Once it eats the first thing. Walnut, save me. This walnut will save me. Uh, okay. That's good. Good stuff. Just need a little bit more for upgrading the puff shrooms to pea shooters. Oh, there's another one of those. Okay. Also, the puff shrooms only have limited range, so... They have to be... The zombies have to be close enough to them to actually start attacking them. Let me do that, since there's a grave right there. Probably want to take care of that when the final wave comes. It's looking good, though. We have three rows of pea shooters now. Might even be able to set up some more stuff once we get a little bit more sun. But I think we're up to the final wave now, so it doesn't even matter. We're just going to end, end this. Okay. A lot of cone heads or cone zombies came out. That's not great for me. But I think I can defend myself well enough, maybe. There's just so many. So many, it's crazy. Uh, I might do something like that for that bucket zombie. Well, it's gone now, so. But there we go. Also, I like how we get mushrooms at night as our new plants. Fume Shroom shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. This is quite a helpful thing to have for nighttime. Because now it's going to... It's only cost 75. And it can shoot... It, it'll hit all of the zombies in like a row. But only for a limited range. It's not too limited though, so it's pretty good. Uh, anyway, I might still grab a pea shooter. Just in case, I might grab a potato mine and a walnut. Let's rock. Also, how much money do I have? I haven't been paying attention to that. I need to have more money. But I don't know how much I have. Let's plant, please. Not get distracted by money. 610. We still need more. So. Let's -a go. Same strategy as last time, but we're gonna, now going to use the fume shrooms. To take care of things. Because there are some zombies now that are going to be carrying doors, basically. And they can't get hit or until their door is broken, which will take a little bit longer. But the fume sh shrooms can shoot through the doors. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. I might have just doomed this puff shroom. I'll save you. Nope, you're fine. <laughs> what was I worried about? Okay. Da, ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 It's just an alternate theme of the 
Plants vs. Zombies theme, but it's so good. It just works so well. Anyway, we almost have enough uh, sun production to actually start setting up the fume shrooms. I don't know where I was going to put that sun shroom just now. I just went completely off the rails. Ah, uh, fume, fume shroom. Let's go. And that'll actually just hit a bunch of things in a row, so... Good stuff. There's all the sun shrooms out now as well. Don't need to plant anymore. We can though if we want. So, look at that. Oh, if there's a thing there, we need to fume shroom. Fume shroom faster. It's also sun. Sun faster. The art style for this game is just really good. <laughs> I like the way that all the, the, the plants look. Okay, let's grab all that. Get some money. Uh, but we need a little bit more sun right now. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem since the mushrooms are growing. Okay, let me put that there. I don't know what I'm doing exactly, so I'm just going to keep planting them like this. And see how it goes. I might, I might not need pea shooters for this, so... I don't, know, I don't know how strong these are, considering how long they're taking to take out that zombie there. Might need to change my strategy up a little bit. Final wave. Let's see how this goes. It's nice that these fume shrooms can hit multiple zombies in a row though. Because they can just deal with all this over here. I think they need the zombies to be a bit closer though to actually do it better. Have to have it symmetrical. I probably shouldn't have done that, it's fine. Symmetrical, 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 How it must be symmetrical. There we go, perfect. Don't you dare eat that, thank you. Let's grab this, and go. We've also got enough money now. But we also have this Grave Buster. Plant it on a grave to remove the grave. So basically it's a plant that will eat the grave. But it also can be still destroyed by the zombies. Because it takes time to take out the grave, so. But yeah, we can do that now. Also, I probably want to go to the shop. Hey, you want to buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you $750, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How's that sound? Pretty good to me. Let's buy that. All right. And hey, when you save up to $5,000, I'll show you the eight seed slot upgrade. Check you later. So there we go. We can also, I believe, go to the shop. Possibly? Maybe not, actually. Maybe we're just remembering this wrong. Maybe it's a different version of the game. Possibly. I just want to go into the game. <laughs> Don't have to do the animation, it's fine. But yeah, now we can pick an extra seed now, so we can actually just keep what we had before, but we can also now have the Grave Eater, so... It's pretty good. Let's rock. Okay, here we go. For some reason this feels bigger for now, and I don't think it is, but it's just... I don't know. It feels like there's more on the screen for some reason. It's probably just that there's an extra seed now, but... I don't know, it, it feels like there's something else. That's just different. Okay, zombies are on their way. Just take care of everything. Cease to exist. <laughs> I've not noticed some of this before. Okay, there we go. I think each time the small sun shrooms drop a bit of sun, it's worth 15, so... That's interesting. I think later on it might be 30? Or 25? I'm not sure how much sun they actually drop later on. It might just be 25. Ah, uh, but a new goal of ours is probably to take out the graves, although more graves can actually grow out of the ground as well over time, so... We'll definitely want to just take care of everything that we can. Ok, 
Okay, let's do that. And now... Now we can start working on upgrading our attack. Or our defense. It's more of an attack than defense now. We've done our defending, let's do our attacking. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, so if I can get enough sun now, we might actually be able to take out a grave. Possibly, but I'm still waiting for my... My shrooms to grow. Let's do that. Very nice. Get some gold out of that as well. So that's well worth doing then, I suppose. Also, mushrooms are growing now, so that's good to see. Oh my goodness, so much sun. So much sun, I should have done something about this defense of attack. I should have done something about the attack. It's fine. They'll probably still take it out, so it's fine. Ah, I can do that though. Just to secure my freedom. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, we're fine. Our defense is fine. Probably. Let's do that. And now we can probably get some more graves out of the way. Possibly. I think every wave there's gonna be a new gravestone. Possibly. I just wanna upgrade this to that. So let's do that. I almost have our shrooms at maximum sun power. Almost. Not quite there yet though. Okay, let me upgrade that as well. Let's do that. Hopefully that won't get eaten while it's trying to eat that grave. I like the the way the music changes when there's a wave attacking. It's pretty cool. Now let's take out that grave, please. Thank you. Okay. It's nice being able to pick up money now. It's just sad that we couldn't collect any money for the whole of the first world, basically. Or at least most of it. Uh, more sun, please. Thank you. All the graves are gone now, though, which is good. Now we just need more sun and we can take out everything. Okay. I'm tempted to put in pea shooters instead of having the this row here being the fume shrooms, but I think the fume shrooms are doing alright as they are. So I'm just going to stick to this until something bad happens and then I'm going to change it. Okay, come on. Please click the thing that I'm clicking on. It's fine. But I think we're going to win this. You know, I think we're going to win this. We should be on the way to victory. Oh, those things are back. They're going to jump over the things. This is what we have the small mushrooms for now, basically. It's taking care of the ones that can jump. Um, gonna put some more of this in. Hopefully. Considering how many of these fume shrooms we have now, we should be alright. But I'm concerned, still. If I just click the right one, I think I clicked the wrong one. It's fine. I'm trying to click everything on the screen right now. Literally everything. I'm going to set up some other things out here. Just to stop the zombies a little bit more. Final wave. Have to get symmetrical. Have to get symmetrical. I'm not going to get the symmetrical. It's fine. Also, we have three- we are, we just had over 300 sun, so we're doing good on sun right now. Don't eat my- don't eat my mushrooms, no! Not my little mushrooms. Oh, there we go. And get the... Um, almanac. The suburban almanac. Keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. So there we go, we can now keep track of all that, and we can actually look at it here. So you can view plants and see what we have here, but we can also go back. We can also see the information that they have and 
damage and all that, so we can actually see how much this does. Normal slow zombies. Normal for HP. Firing speed times two. Interesting. It also shows range. Interesting. Recharge is also something it says, so we can see which ones are slow, which ones are fast, how much they cost. That's actually really helpful, but anyway. Probably should have checked the zombies, but I couldn't apparently. Ever play a game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting scrubos. Scrubos? Scrubos. You know, those furry little rodents that dig holes in the, your lawn. Yeah, just like that. But instead of scrubos, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this to happen immediately, but we now have a hammer. We just need to whack the zombies with the hammer by clicking. I mean, it's, it's a satisfying feeling to just whack the zombies. But also, they're very fast and there's probably, probably going to be a lot of them. Oh, money. That's also a thing we need to keep in mind. Zombies? Oh, there's another grave now. I think they can only spawn from the grave, so... Oh, so we got also get some other stuff now. Interesting. We might want to take out the graves if we can. So sometimes they'll just drop... ...sun. Oh my goodness, more. More. Just keep clicking everything. Everywhere. I like you can click them before they even get out of the ground. Okay, let's place that, I guess. Come on. This is a lot harder on computer than I, than I thought it would be. Just because you have to aim a lot more with the mouse. Okay, what's happening now? More grave. Also, stronger zombies. Don't eat that. Have to double click just to make sure I get things now. More of that, thank you. Can I get that please? Thank you. Is there hotkeys for some of this? No, I don't think so. Maybe there is, but I can't do it while it's recharging. No, there's no hotkey for the plants. That's a shame. Might be a bit overpowered to be able to do that. If you could, though. Which we can't, so... Okay, there's a grave over there now. That's a shame. For me. Oh. Helmet. Slash bucket zombies. It's not good. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Getting some money out of this, which is good. Also getting close to the end of the level now, because the... Thing at the bottom of the screen says so. All the graves. Get him, 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 get him. There we go. Wow, what happened? Got a penny pin pincer. We also got a hypno shroom. Makes a zombie fight for you. Basically, as soon as the zombie eat takes a bite out of this mushroom, the mushroom's gone. But it'll also have the zombie turn around and eat any of the zombies coming at it, so. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.